uh, a good friend of mine, uh, John of Modern Life Dating, uh, says make money, make muscles, learn game, and half frame. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, and you don't have to be rich, right? You don't have to be a millionaire or a zillionaire. You don't have to be a Miami yacht owner. Um, but you have to be financially shrewd. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, there are a lot of people in this country who make six figures have terrible credit. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie uh, The Boiler Room, but there's a perfect scene in that where he's like, listen, man, a lot of these guys make six figures every month, but they don't have the credit to finance a Honda Accord. You understand what I mean? And so part of part of financial shrewdness is, you know, living below your means, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, muscles, uh, physical fitness, man, that is the cornerstone of every man's masculinity. Clearly, I'm not quite as quite as masculine as I need to be, mm -hmm. but nothing will nothing will change your life quicker than getting yourself into shape. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you feel, the way people treat you, the way people perceive you, all of that changes. Um, game. Game is 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 shorthand for understanding women and dealing with them the way they are. Uh, there are a lot of people uh, out in the ethos who want to they want to they, they want uh, they want women to step into a time machine and go back to 1950. That's not happening unless Doc Emmett Brown comes back and Marty McFly <laughs> back to the future. Women are not going back to 1950. And so my message is to I'm not about complaining about women. I did that for years. It's I went through a stage. It is what it is. But if you really want long lasting, healthy relationships, you're going to have to understand that women today are not the way they were back in 1950. Mm -hmm. And 1950 is not coming anytime soon. You need to learn to deal with things as they are. And as far as frame is concerned, uh, just basic stoicism. Uh, this is something that I lack. <laughs> um, I'm 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 self aware uh, I'm self aware enough to understand that I lack a lot of the whole frame components. But frame is basically standing ten toes down, not allowing people to move you off your square, using mm -hmm. false rhetoric, things of that nature. So that's that's really what, uh, in my opinion, that's what masculinity is all about. Awesome money, muscles, game, and frame. And right. you compared frame to stoicism. Yeah. And if I can define stoicism, and I've read Marcus Aurelius. Um, oh wow, Good principles. Book. Uh, it's essentially life's tough. Fucking deal with it. That's right. That's, That's what exactly stoicism right. is. Okay. And you know, a, a lot of young men uh, come after guys who are like that. They say, "Well, it's hard for us out here," and blah 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 blah. Listen, I get it. Life mm -hmm. is tough for men because it needs to be. Um, this is why the concept of unconditional love is dangerous. And I'll put it to you like this, and, and we can move on. If if women truly loved unconditionally, then everyone would look like me right now. <laughs> because the reason, why do men do anything? Andy Samberg was on the Late Night Show a long time ago, and he said, well, what got you into, uh, into comedy? He said, well, why do we do anything? It's girls. Mm -hmm. Men, we build for women. We go to wars for women. We innovate for women. We do everything for women. There's nothing wrong with admitting that. And so if women truly love men unconditionally, then and the best brains would be the best genes would be bred out of uh, out of the population within a couple of generations because women would be in love with fat slobs who don't do anything.